ka buza fa iti bigana baso na like na comment na share money so dey nyebia fe na ye konye semu no eye malik basantele da particular man a ndc communicator and this is one I take you over from some media view on the media. Yeah, now, nah. but this is me what could you do? Oh, yeah, uh, TV so, no, so, of course, GH1, uh, no, the Biako to work, no, I call a friend, say, uh, uh, media general TV3, no, I could have been so at one, on the Namsa, NBC channels, now, nah, hold on, on the Namsa. Now, we na not easy, more than what I call to run, no, no, yeah, nothing man be our Jordan Skins. I, 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 this particular man, the way I was here, is Malik The NDC is a fraternity and, you know, a lion dungeon, you understand? So, they would have to choose you as somebody who is to deputize another flippant talkative. So there's no problem about that. But you see, I'll go through every audio you release, every video you release, and I'll point holes into everything. You can't con Ghanaians like you did in 2008. Never. Never. You can't con the ordinary Ghanaian voter again. We will make sure that we expose you big time. Big time. Big time. The point is not there. It's not there. Okay? So, it's like that. Go to the people. Talk to the people. Let them understand you. Let them know what you are bringing up. But, but not to go and in, be insulting people. Candidates. Baumia has a credible record. Than candidate Mahama. If anybody wants to prove me wrong, he should come for a debate. Candidate Baumia, he has a very credible record as vice president and now the flag bearer of MPP. When Mahama was vice president, <laughs> what haven't we heard and see and read about him in the papers? And it's still documented here. Complete description of candidate Mama is on paper. Not to sit in the studio to blab and flip and rant and chant and pant. Okay? No. It's on paper. It's on paper. So, in the coming days, people will burn out of shape. Somebody be walking normal at the end of the day, at the end of a debate, he'll be converted to a cripple because he cannot walk normally again. Wait, in the coming days, is going to be very interesting because we all are doing our own research over one another. So come on board. But correct that your mistake, that your mix up lang English. People come from the, from People come to sleep in the streets. Pe people, I don't know, what did he even say? He said people will come and sleep in the street to, to the classroom. Oh, I don't know. Malik, <laughs> Boko Arabo, Nayale. Mpa. Mpa. What was that? What, that expression was just... It wasn't there. It doesn't exist. So all that you are saying is a lie. It's a big lie and nothing else. You can lie and succeed. If you lie, we expose you. I'm telling you, we expose you big time. So, hey, I'll be back. I'll let you know. I'll continue to see you so. Eh, DH1. I'll continue to see you. Eh, eh, John A. I'll continue to see because of politics, 
Oh, oh, crown on your correct. This particular man, eh, Mr. Nana Kuku, eh, MPP, eh, MPP, recently on a year. But you're back. Yeah, my hands are going for a Mr. Kodupuku. I okay, Dr. Mamba, me and the campaign team now. Yeah. Now, this is your baby to So, and this is one true ya. I'm looking at my licking true ya. You need to have a good TV tree. Ah. So, I say, Dr. Mamba, me are involved in corruption. A poor lugu, a you know, multi purpose. Damn, no, me as on me, you I don't know about me involved in some corrupt identity, but I'm corrupt. Me, I'm corrupt. My opinion is that me is the only politician who is incorrupt. I'm not for you, go. Hey, I'm not for you. I'm not for you. I'm not for you. I'm not for you. Hi, good morning, and I hope everybody's having a lovely weekend. Um, just a quick one. Um, we are up. We are up in um the Kiapim North. Um, very successful campaign by the DMB campaign. Um, Dr. Baumia has started his Eastern region um, campaign and is going very well. We recently completed a very successful campaign of the Northern region, especially Upper East and of East, Northern region, Upper West, Savannah. Now the NDC have seen the heat and they've seen that look, they don't have anything in the North anymore. Clearly, from the campaign I was part of and what I saw with my own eyes, the NDC is shivering. And it's not surprising that I've seen a video on TikTok um, TV3 program hosted by Raymond. And there is a communicator from the NDC called Malik discussing the poor Lukudab. And in this discussion, every two seconds, he seems to want to mention Dr. Baumia's name and link him to corruption link him to the poor local dam and all sorts the good people of the north know that their son dr mamudu baumia is a good person and he would deliver on the poor local dam when he is president he has promised them everywhere we've gone to zibila to all the um, affected um, constituencies in the northern region and the upper east region he has assured them that his priority project is the poor local dam now let me explain something the Pualugu Dam, everybody can check how much it costs to build. The Pualugu Dam is estimated to cost $993 million. That's the cost of the Pualugu Multipurpose Dam. Now, there is a budgetary allocation. Now, as a government, there is always called counterpart funding. There are some things that government has to spend in allowing the investor and the Pualuku Dam was to be built and financed by the Chinese. The Chinese were to bring the $993 million needed for this project. Government in the budget, um, budget of Ghana, in the, in the GOG budget, made about, I think, between $12 and $22 million available for um, some preparatory work and some um, processes in assessing the $993 million. We found out that $12 million have been spent by the Ministry of Finance. $12 million cannot build a project that costs $993 million. So when you're on TV, Malik, please, saying that, oh, you are going to investigate and there's corruption and there's nothing there, you went on the land, nobody said that nine, the $12 million is to build the Pua Luku Dam because it costs $993 million to build. If you want to investigate how the $12 million was used, you can easily do that. Ministry of Finance, before any money is spent, keep records. Now, if you want to find out that it may be a civil servant or a technocrat that the Ministry of Finance misappropriated $12 million, by all means, go and investigate that. But please stop associating Dr. Mahmoud Baumia with the expenditure of $12 million. He said the Pualugu Dam was facing financial challenges because assessing the $993 million to build the dam is facing challenges. He didn't say that $12 million was saving the government of Ghana and the GOG counterpart project funding was, asset, was facing financial challenges. So please, uh, we see the NDC strategy. They just want to basically make sure that every word that comes out of their mouth is associated with Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. It's not going to work. Some of us know the truth and some of us will speak to the truth. 
you cannot build a project that costs 993 million dollars with 12 million dollars every Ghanaian knows that so the 12 million dollars that has been spent by all means we all will welcome an investigation if you think you want to know how that is spent i don't even think you need an investigation through um right to information right to ministry of finance through the lti right right to information write to the Ministry of Finance and request for this information and they will more than happy give it to you how that $12 million was spent. Nobody's hiding it because it's on paper. So please, let's focus on what we are doing and let's ignore um, when people like Malik come on TV3 and basically spew all these lies and want to smear the good son of the North um, with corruption and all the things that's not necessary. Thank you and have a lovely day. I'm up for now, say, uh, uh, Mr. Koju and Apuku, I don't know.